Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to talk to you all today about React and specifically state and props. And really what is state and props and why do we use it? I hope you all enjoy this video as always. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see more of. Subscribe to see more of these videos and let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, what is the difference between state and prop? Let's start by talking about what state is to get a really great understanding of that before moving on to props. In React, there are two types of components. There are stateless components, which will not include state, do not need to access the state, and then there are components that need to access the state. Stateless components are kind of um, like dumb components. They really have one purpose, one input and output, and nothing should ever change in that component. Whereas state components or components that contain state, there'll be constant change and um, iterations over the component every time something changes within the state. And what I mean by that is every component that has a state in React has its own state. State is local to the component. The state though can be passed downwards through other components through something called props. Before we get into props, to kind of give you an example, a little bit about why we would use state. Uh, if you think about a to-do list where there's an input form and you can fill out your name and there's a bunch of names down below. Every time a user inputs their name, the state changes. Something is added that is different to the list. So that is a really good example about what state is and why we use it. For example, there'll be different names and each one of those are a different instance of the state um, in the component. So basically to know when to use state, think of it every time anything that is changed or modified in your application, think to use state. State can be passed to other components, as mentioned, through props. Props are how components talk to one another. So for example, state can be passed to other components through props. We can pass props through React using different attributes and access these attributes in other components using this.props. Whatever the attribute is. And the benefit of this is your state might need, you might have to access different state, the same state in different places throughout your application. Remember the name input app we were talking about? Say you wanted a user to be able to put their name in a list of names, and then down below or on a different page, you wanted that another page or another component to display the current name of the user saying, hello, Tiffany, or hello, whatever the name may be. And to do that, you would need to access the state from component one in component two. The way to do that, through props. I think that's a really good way of explaining it as far as state can trickle down and you can access it using props. So props will be whatever the current state is, that's what the prop will be at. Hope you all enjoyed my quick examples of what state and props are and how they differentiate. And as always, let me know down below what you wanna see more of. If you wanna continue learning different areas of React, it's so powerful and amazing that I think uh, learning React is a really great way to go. And I will see you all soon, bye everyone.